Sveicin sen kolku nik. It's good. Hopefully the rest of them are like that. So, one little pinhole there, by the look of it. I haven't scrubbed this back totally yet, but... So far it's looking quite remarkably good. I was expecting a bit of a disaster zone under here given the rest of the condition of the, the chassis and the bulkhead. Anyway, I'll give it a big clean later on. So now the next steps to do is to actually finish off cleaning off and punching through the rest of the rivets on the sides. And then once I've done all that, then I'll focus on these ones here. quite well. That one did too. So those ones punched out quite easily. Seems to be almost like a spot world. So what we have is these little kind of what looks like to be spot welds. So there's one there for example, looks like that's another one right here. And so they seem to be for some reason not in certain areas and then in other areas here. So if you just saw of what I'm trying to do is trying to drill them out and um, do as little damage as possible when removing those. All right, we're getting there now. All sides are loose. There's just one little thing holding it up here on this end, which is this little screw there. Everything else seems to be quite okay. Putting a little bit of pressure on. In a way, it's good that it's grabbing underneath. I'll see if I can, see if I can drop this corner down first. It seems to be grabbing on this end over here which is kind of tricky because over there it's overlapping so I definitely have to try to drop it on one side first but it's catching on here looks like I might have to take these one, two, four, six rivets out I'll just pop the heads off those I think and then I'll be able to remove this angle line there we go right. take that piece out
have it. So if you're doing this job, only take these first two rivets off. Everything else looks all right. I love how these, don't forget the tub's upside down and I can feel there's a whole lot of dirt in there. Dirt goes in here and gets trapped. There's, there's nothing to actually, you know, drain the, uh, the dirt out of there. It's just a complete trap. So I might um, drill a hole there for drainage or something. Looks like a little bit of corrosion happening there. And on the other sides there and there look like look you can see the white. So um, if it's all painted, then that should be sufficient protection. And then on top of that, we had these spot welds in place as well as the rivets. So yeah, it took quite a long time just to get to this point. And these, as suspected, they're caked full of dirt, which is why I decided to just remove them all together. I've got to try to keep them in order and the same with this try to keep this in order as well so next steps are to get rid of all the um, pop, pop rivets that are still stuck there give it a bit of a clean up I'm able to clean inside here as well flush it right out I really don't want to I really don't want to take this out all right what I'll do is I'll leave it for this video here um, at this point the rest of it is pretty uh, yeah. generic stuff, cleaning and scraping and whatnot. But I hope this uh, this video helps you, so you don't have to kind of guess as much as what I did along the way. And as always, um, thanks for watching.